Well, it's that time again. It's time to talk shit about a game that I have been really, really looking forward to. And this is, man, one of my least favorite things to do. Not as, not as an amateur film and video game buff. Not only as a lover of video games, but as a person. Is to talk shit about something that I I want to promote. I want, uh, and by the title of this video, you know what this is. It's Watch Dogs, the highly anticipated game. Uh, I got mine last night, midnight release, and I've been playing it for about six hours now. Um, yeah, um, this game is very disappointing. Like, really, really disappointing. Uh, I, I, I don't even know if I'm gonna do a review for this game. I mean, it, if it keeps going the way it's going, I, I really have no desire to finish it. Honestly, I, 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 I honestly have no desire to finish this game. If this is how it's gonna keep going. Alright. So let me start from the beginning. When it came out that this game was going to have a major visual downgrade, people fucking were pissed. And I was not one of them. I was the guy that was like, look, I don't care if this game is like 900p and doesn't look like the E3 2012-2013 demos. You know, that's fine. As long as the game is fun. Look, Saints Row 4, that does not have the best graphics in the world, but that is a fun game. Lots of fun. Spider-Man 2, back on the PlayStation 2, is one of my all-time favorite games. Why? Not because of the visuals, but because of the gameplay. Because it's just fun and addicting and rewarding. Watch Dogs is none of those things. It, it, let me, actually, hold on. Watch Dogs, the heart and soul of this game is its hacking. The thing that has been marketed like crazy. The hacking. And the hacking is awesome. The hacking is like this brilliant new game mechanic that was utilized extremely well in this game. Everything else besides that is ranges from okay to downright awful. Um... I mean, I, I could I could go on a rant. I really, I, I honestly don't, I'm probably going to end up going on a rant anyway when I get to one section. So fuck it, yeah, let's just call this Watch Dogs rant. A little mini rant for you guys. Because I'm, I'm not angry, I'm just, I'm like a parent who's found out their kid is like stealing from the local, local store. I'm not angry, I'm just disappointed. Actually, I am a little bit angry. I'm a little bit angry and I'm very fucking disappointed. Because Ubisoft delayed this shit for seven months, alright? This was supposed to come out when the PlayStation 4 was going to come out. It's on the cover of the PlayStation 4 box! Watch Dogs, right there! And they delayed it another seven months to fix the game, to make it better, to make it more variety, have cooler shit, to make it look better. And this is the best they could do?! In those seven months? Are you fucking kidding me? This is the best you can do, Ubisoft? This is your best foot forward. They literally, like, when they finished the game, they took a step back, looked at it, and went, Yeah, this is our best effort. Let's bl let's release it. What the, what the fuck? Wait. <sighs> okay. Let me start from a specific point. The graphics in the game, they're not horrendous, alright? They're actually good. But that's the problem. They're just good. Did you see that fucking E3 2012 demo? That looked gorgeous. That looked like a next-gen game. This shit looks like it belongs back in 2006. Yeah, that's right. 2006 graphics right here. You want a next gen experience on the PlayStation 4? Too fucking bad. Seriously, the, like, when people bitch about, like, games going cross-gen and how they're handicapping this shit and gutting it, oh my god, that argument works so well for this game. 
You can really tell that they gutted the fuck out of this game. And I have it for the PlayStation 4. I can't tell the difference. Uh, seriously. I, it looks like a PlayStation 3 game. It looks like 2006 on the PlayStation 4. That should not happen. That should not be the fucking case for Watch Dogs, goddammit. Ubisoft, seriously. What the fuck? Like, what? Why? Why? This, this shit pisses me off. If there's anything I hate more in the gaming industry, it's false advertising. The trailers for this game? Oh my god, gorgeous. They talked about, oh look, all this dynamic lighting. And look how gorgeous we're creating a next-gen experience. Yeah, the fuck you are. The fuck you are. Look at this shit. Look at this. Look, look at this screenshot right here. Does that look fucking next-gen to you? I've seen next-gen. The Last of Us looks like next-gen. And that is PlayStation 3. That looks like a PlayStation 4 game. Grand Theft Auto 5 looks like a next-gen game. Plays like a next-gen game. Fuck it. Elder Scrolls Skyrim doesn't look like a next-gen game, but it plays like one. This, besides the multiplayer, oh my god, and that's another issue. Well, I'll get to that in a bit. There is nothing about this game that screams next-gen. Besides the hacking. And even that, I guarantee that even that is on the PlayStation 3. So that should not be considered next-gen. You know what they should have done? They should have delayed this. Two years from now. That's right. They should have said, fuck you guys on the PlayStation 3 and 360. We're dropping those. Wii U, fuck you, we're dropping that. We're only going to release it for the PlayStation 4, the 1, and the PC. So we can fully utilize the engine that we built specifically for this game to milk all the graphical power out of it. Nope. You know why? They wanted the money. Money talks, motherfucker. Money fucking talks. And that shows with Watch Dogs, because they wanted to appeal to every single console owner out there. But in order to do that, they had to sacrifice the quality of the graphics and of the gameplay. And the game looks like 2006 PlayStation 3. I cannot fucking believe this shit. This basic shit looks weird. The character models look weird. The lip syncing is weird. It looks just weird. Like, seriously, that's like the word that kept popping up in my brain when I was watching cutscenes of this game, when I was playing it. I was like, this looks weird. L seriously, like, I like I'm, I don't want to show my face on YouTube, but there is, like, like it literally looks like the, all the characters' teeth are glued together and their lips are just moving in a random order. The lip syncing in this is awful. Fuck it. it like, like, do these people's mouths, are like their teeth glued together? Like literally that's what it looks like. I shit you not. Like Aiden, is, his mouth is glued together and his lips are moving. And his teeth can only barely open up every so often. Because it's glued to the fucking mouth. Because of the fucking stupid engine. And... The voice acting is so mediocre. It's boring. Aiden, boring. Boring character. Boring side characters. Boring villain. Who cares? Seriously, like, Aiden... Aiden must have, like, the Dark Knight trilogy on fucking repeat because he sounds like Batman. He sounds like the typical Batman voice that's in... Every fucking movie and video game with a tough guy here I see these days. He has to talk like this because he has an infinite amount of throat lozenges he can do for his throat. Because eventually it's going to fuck up his larynx if he keeps talking like this. But that's okay because I have Ricola. So yeah, I'm just going to keep talking like this. Aiden doesn't have a personality. He's really just the guy that stares at his cell phone has inner monologues, and occasionally talks to other people. Oh, his niece died. That's sad? What's he gonna do about it? I'm just gonna stand here and mumble some more. And I'm gonna have more inner monologues about it. 
Yeah, hurts my throat to fucking do it. <laughs> but, man, I, I don't want to hate this game. I can already see you guys right now. I can hear you guys sharpening your pitchforks, gathering your torches, ready to burn me alive in a windmill. But hear me out, guys. Hear me out. The way this game has been marketing, has been getting marketed, is wrong. Wrong, I tell you. Wrong. And shameful. Shame on you, Ubisoft. Shame on you. This, it's, it's a bait and switch. It's a classic bait and switch on this fucking game. It really is, guys. Um, and, you know, to be fair, I've only played six hours of this game. But it's said that the first impressions are the one that matter the most. And right now, my first impression of this game, oh my god, they are pretty low right now. Um, and not that this is a bad game. That's the thing. It's just painfully dishonest and disappointing. Really, like, as soon as I stopped, I was like on a, on like a three hour marathon this morning playing this. As soon as I stopped and started playing um, Injustice with a friend... I, like, I instantly felt more alive playing Injustice. To me, that is a much better game. Because it's fun! It's fun to play! This game is not fun to play. It's boring. Bland. Superficial. And the last two things I want to talk about. I keep hearing that the driving in this game, that you can upgrade it to make it feel better. The driving in this game is awful that's one of the awful things about it the there is no weight like the the city feels like it's made of paper when you're like hitting things there's no rumble or feedback in the controller it there's no weight to these vehicles at all unlike gta 5 where all the vehicles in that game have like a specific weight to each thing and it feels more alive and fun the physics in that game are superb what physics engine were they using for this fucking game? If there was a physics engine... It literally, I, I kept hitting cars, and I felt nothing. It felt like I was hitting paper. Seriously. I felt like I was back in Sick It to the Man. With the paper... That's a very good indie game, by the way. That's a much better game than this fucking game is. And that's free on PlayStation Plus! That's a free game! And that's much better than this! I had more fun and enjoyment out of Stick It to the Man and Injustice and fuck it! You know what? This is gonna piss a lot of people off, but I don't give a fuck. I had more fun playing the campaign of Call of Duty Ghosts than I'm having fun right now with Watch Dogs. Yeah! That's right! And I can already see the people, you guys clicking the dislike button. I don't care! I'm gonna be honest here. I enjoyed Ghosts more than I'm enjoying Watch Dogs right now. That should not be the case. That should not be the case, man. That really should not be the case. Boy, what a fucking disaster this is. And you know what? The one thing, the, the thing that is like neck and neck with the visual downgrade that pisses me off about this game is that it's... Just, like, the online mode, they're touting this whole thing, it's a next-gen online experience. Seamless interaction between single-player and multiplayer. Okay. Cool. What if I don't want to play it? What if I don't want people hacking into my game? What if I just want to be left alone and want to play a game by myself without having to worry about people coming into my game and stealing my shit all the time? Here's Ubisoft's answer for that. What? Well, well, fine. If you want to disable the online hacking, you're not going to be able to do anything with your friends. You're not going to be able to... Oh, and get this. If you try out the online hacking... Oh, well, 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 if you want to try out the online hacking, that's fine. But if you want to turn it off later on, all your stats get released! They get erased! All your stats, gone. They get reset to zero. I am not fucking kidding. And it says that when you want to turn off the online hacking, it says all your stats for online hacking will be reset to zero. Oh, you successfully managed to hack and infiltrate 20 players in a row? 
and now you want some alone time? Too fucking bad. You gotta start all over again, man. Too fucking bad. What kind of bullshit system is that? What the fuck? Why aren't people more angry about this? I, you know what? I am pretty sure I'm in the minority on this game. I haven't read any reviews for it. I have, I really honestly have no idea how people are reacting to this beyond like my friends that have told me how they've like enjoyed it. I bet it's getting like critical acclaim right now for being a masterpiece or something. But I don't fucking get it, guys. I, I don't get it. And I'm going to be as honest as I possibly can because I do not have to suck Ubisoft's dick. Alright? I don't have to be on that dick. I'm my own man. And I when I say this game is boring and a big fucking disappointment, you know that I'm being honest with you guys. Because that's what I want to do. I, I feel guilty telling you guys to pay $59.99 for this game. Right now, um, if I don't come back and do a review for it, consider this my final review. Unless my opinion changes later on down the road, this is how I feel about the game right now. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. Wait until it goes to the bargain bin for $29.99 or $19.99. Even for you guys on the PlayStation 4 that want to experience something next-gen. Skip this game. Wait for Destiny, even though that's cross-gen. Oh my god, that has me worried now too. Because I'm really looking forward to Destiny, and that's cross-gen. How badly do you think they're going to gut that fucking game? How badly do you think they're going to gut Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor? How badly do you think they're going to cut Advanced Warfare? Man, uh... Man, you know what? For all the shit I heard, like the like the mixed reception I heard for the Order 1886, and as you know, the gameplay, it does not look all that great, to be honest. It looks okay. It looks like Gears of War. The graphics in that game, oh my god, they scream next-gen. They are gorgeous. That looks like a next-gen experience. Batman Arkham Knight is a true next-gen experience. If you guys want a true next-gen experience, skip Watch Dogs. <coughs> Wait for Arkham Knight to come out, get that game, because it is made with PS4, Xbox One in mind. And it looks like it. Looks amazing. Looks a thousand times better than Watch Dogs does. So consider this my final review. Don't buy Watch Dogs. Please. Ubisoft needs to be ashamed of themselves. They pulled a fucking bait and switch on you guys. And they... Fuck you, Ubisoft. Fuck you! God damn it. <laughs> and this... Man. Fuck, I am angry. Because I was looking forward to this game. And I just got screwed. And if it keeps going like this, I got royally fucking screwed. And I am scared for Assassin's Creed now. Whew. I, I Watch Dogs, I'm not going to say fuck Watch Dogs, it, it's not a bad game, it's not awful, it's just like Arkham Origins, it's just so fucking disappointing, and lazy, and a complete bait and switch on your ass, a dishonest fucking scheme. Alright guys, <coughs> thank you for watching. If you like what you see, subscribe. Let me, I, I am curious. Let me know what you thought of Watch Dogs. If you've beaten the game already, let me know what you thought of it. Um, you know, I would love to love this game. Seriously, I would. But I ain't gonna lie to myself. I am especially not gonna lie to you guys. Alright. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a good one.